Welcome to this year's celebration event. My name is Mr Carlson and as the head of Franklin, it is always a highlight to be able to celebrate all the students who have excelled throughout this academic year. It is a true pleasure, even though this is the second year running where unfortunate circumstances have forced us into an online presentation instead of us all sitting in the hall. However, make no mistake, the winners today do so on merit and fully deserve all of the plaudits. Enough from me at the moment and over to Mr Tooley. Good evening everyone and welcome to our annual celebration evening. These are special events for us all where we celebrate the achievements of a large number of students drawn from all year groups. Some awards are for academic excellence, some for outstanding effort, others where students have shown great character and fortitude. Of course, normally we hold these events in the atrium hall in front of a live audience. However, this year we've once again needed to move online. I do hope this doesn't affect your enjoyment of the evening. It certainly doesn't diminish from the amazing achievements of our students. Enjoy the show. In addition to Mr Tooley, I also have a welcome from Nikki Odgers, the Vice Chair of Governors. Hello. My name is Nikki Odgers and I'm one of the two Vice Chairs of Governors at Netherhall. I'd like to read you a short poem by Barbara Vance. It's called Your Best. If you always try your best, then you'll never have to wonder about what you could have done if you'd summoned all your thunder. And if your best was not as good as you hoped it would be, you still could say, I gave today all that I had in me. I'd like to congratulate everyone who does their best, whether in big things or small. In the extraordinary year we've just had, lots of people have been trying their best. Teachers have been trying their best to deliver engaging lessons online. Parents have been trying their best to support their children with all the challenges of the pandemic. And today, we are here to celebrate the young people at Netherhall who have given their very best this year across a whole range of different areas. Well done to them all. And now it is with great pleasure that I get to announce all of the Franklin winners. We start with the Pride Awards. These accolades continue to represent the Olympic and Netherhall values of personal excellence, respect and friendship, inspiration, determination and courage, and equality. These five aspects help to shape and guide our Netherhall students into the well-rounded and lovely people that we want in our community. For each criteria, there are only two per year group who can achieve the honour. We begin with personal excellence. This award goes to those students who have performed at an exceptional level throughout the year. Emily Sutton, Sophia de Monteverdi Rob, Samarth Ganagi, Yvette Owusu Ansa, Shulekshmi Shinuner, Magnus Bramwell, Emma Rizzardo, and Essie Opie. And now for respect and friendship. These students demonstrate excellent consideration and friendship to others around them. Grace Neal, Isaiah Harriet, May Copley Sherwood, Philippa Ferreira, Beth Perkins, Kirsten Lim, Vinnie Flagiello, and Curtis Rogers. We move on to inspiration. All of these students have shown outstanding leadership skills, influencing those around them in a positive manner. Monty Stewart-Smith, Adriana Kelmalaita, Ross De Vilt, Bella Davies, Yanis Zangalidis, Molly Bennett, Nikhil Rudin, and Emily Calvert. Moving on to determination and courage. This award goes to those students who have overcome obstacles to their learning this year and show great commitment to their schooling. Hasnat Khan, Dave Arrow, Grace Bradford, Parv Dillon, Miriam Toronto, Duda Girardelli Ferreira, Lachlan Morton and Maya Trezizer. The Equality Award is given to students who continually demonstrate an understanding, appreciation and respect of the differences between students, cultures and communities. 
Connie Cotton, Talin Ahmed Vili, Megan Rogers, Abigail Lopez, Ashlyn Salangsang, Tom Cotton, Elena Lin, and Rita Hack. Congratulations to all of the winners. Please come to the pastoral office tomorrow morning and you can collect your certificate and pride stripe. And now for some music. Well done and thanks for such a wonderful piece. Now normally at this point we would celebrate all of the students who have shown excellent dedication and effort throughout the year and achieved 100% attendance. While many of you have achieved perfect attendance and I applaud you for this, there is also a significant number who through no fault of their own would have missed out on this award. Therefore, sadly, I will not be announcing any attendance winners for 2021. I look forward to announcing an impressive list next year. And now I would like to hand over to Elena Lynn, one of the house captains for Franklin, for her thoughts on the year. Good evening, everyone. I hope all of the students have had a great school year. Whilst this may be a slightly unconventional way of holding the annual celebration evening, I'm sure you're enjoying the comfort of your own homes, having the power to skip through Mr. Tooley's speech, apologies, sir, and not having to sit for hours on those uncomfortable plastic chairs we've all come to know over the years or we'll learn to love in the case of the younger years. Now that we've covered my main points, I'd like to move on to discuss what we've achieved over the course of the school year. When the government announced another national lockdown in December, the school were able to transition to online learning swiftly and successfully. As you're aware, work was set on Google Classroom with live lessons being implemented and held on Zoom and Google Meet. This had an overwhelmingly positive outcome. Work was being completed by students at an equal standard as it would have been if it were issued in school. Students did an excellent job of maintaining work ethic whilst being able to adjust to another national lockdown, which in itself is outstanding. Teachers and staff also made arrangements that made the whole situation easier for everyone. 
The student newsletter was continued by the House and Vice Captains, who also created surveys that were sent out to students seeking their opinions on systems established due to COVID-19. So the online learning and the return to school following online learning was beneficial and tailored towards everyone's needs and preferences. Even now, we are constantly moving forward, making changes and improvements to the school to ensure we are providing the best environment possible for everyone. Luckily, we have still been able to hold certain events within the school, including his house cross country, dodgeball, the metamorphosis competition for those in year seven, and the quiz events for those in year eight. Another event held online was Julian Cedric, sharing his experience of being invited with various classes within the school. The maths challenge was organised by Miss Prince, was also able to take place, and one of the Year 11s performed so incredibly, so much so that they're taking part in the Maths Olympiad, which, wow. <laughs> As a school, we've had many students and teachers write memories and observations to add to the time capsule. We buried to mark the 150th anniversary of Nether Hall. Speaking of which, we celebrated 150 years of Nether Hall. I mean, 150. Maths may not be my strongest subject, but I do know that is a big number and wants to be celebrated. More happening this term was also the Euros Pride Cup, where many students were playing against each other in some, I can imagine, rather competitive games of football. House and vice captains have also been able to film virtual tours of the school for year sixes, with us co others collaborating with Mrs. Parfect to write a chart of what students should expect from the school. And on top of that, a project I'm particularly proud of, being the launch of a program to ensure female students' safety. So whilst there may have been a global pandemic, we've successfully pushed through and achieved more than you could imagine. I hope the students enjoyed being able to finish the summer term with face-to-face -face teaching in school rather than online, which I'm sure parents and carers here tonight have likely enjoyed also. <laughs> I can't speak on anyone else's behalf, but I, th I think after a while my parents were starting to use three metaphorical three wishes from the genie in order for schools to reopen. <laughs> Wishful thinking, really, at the time, but eventually we made it. I hope you enjoy the rest of this evening and win many awards, as I know you're all capable of. Thank you. Now to hear from the tutors and mentors of Franklin announcing the winners of their form class award. This year's form prize for F1 goes to Elena Lin for being a brilliant student, being really helpful and working really hard this year. Well done. Hello, uh, my name is Mr Driscoll. I'm the form tutor of F2. Uh, my nomination is Yanis. Um, over the last couple of years, Yanis has been consistently superb. He's always the first one to dive in and offer a view on something, and he's also the first person, more importantly, to volunteer and come up with many different types of good. An excellent man, young man, especially at cooking cook cakes, or should I say baking would be more appropriate for that line of firm. So yes, superb young, young, young man, brilliant young chap, etc etc involved in lots of many different things around the school and more importantly out of, outside of school also carry on with the powerboat instruction courses thank you very much the prize winner for f4 has earned a huge number of pride points this year through her hard work and dedication and has set a fantastic example for her peers. Congratulations, Katie Clean. Okay, so the winner of uh, F5 goes to Fergus Aldridge. He's worked extremely hard, both in lockdown and out of school, and he's ensured to stay in contact with me the entire time. Well done, Fergus. Welcome, F6. We wanted to give this year's form tutor prize to someone who's been really happy and smiley as I've seen them around the school. Um, they've started in year seven and they've had a really tough year um, and we're really proud of everything that she's achieved. So this year's uh, F6 form tutor prize goes to... Adriana. Ooh, yay. This year's F7 tutor prize goes to someone who during online learning went above and beyond for their peers. They wanted to make sure that both their teachers and their peers were doing okay, but also wanted to bring a little bit of humour into everyone's day and check in on them. This person helped create the F7 comedy morning, bringing in jokes to make sure that everyone had a good start to their week. Since returning to school, this person has demonstrated themselves as a role model student who takes pride in being a Netherhall student as well. This year's F7 Tutor Prize goes to Megan Rogers. Well done, Megan. 
Uh, this year's tutor award for F8 goes to a student that I've had the pleasure of tutoring since her very, very first day in year seven. And it has been a real honour to witness her grow and develop into the mature, strong, hardworking and caring young woman that she is today. She has graced the difficulties of lockdown with perseverance and hard work and her studies have really developed over this year in particular, which is why she has been nominated by myself for this particular award. I'm extremely proud of her and I hope she is proud of herself as well, which is why this year's Form Tutor Award for F8 goes to Emily Calvert. Well done. Hello, as Form Tutor of F9, my award goes to Philippa for just being so positive. That is always one of my favourite parts of the evening and the tutors once again have not disappointed with their warm words. And now it's time for another musical number. This time from Mary, Eliza and Rain. Now we move on to the academic prize winners. These are awarded to the highest academic achievers in each year. For year seven, Emily Sutton, who is also the overall winner for year seven. Year eight in Franklin is Ross de Vilt, who again also happens to be the overall winner for year eight. In year nine, Jem Collingwood is the winner for Franklin 
The overall winner is Louisa Dunkley from Hobbs. In year 10, the Franklin winner is Emma Rizzardo, and the overall winner for the school is Grace Winchester from Soyinka. The Arts Awards help to recognise the efforts and dedication that the winners have shown across all the arts in Netherhall. The winners this year are as follows. In year seven, for Franklin is Connie Cotton. The overall winner was Melina Motsai from Soyinka. In year eight for Franklin is Bella Davies. And the overall winner was Esme Deal from Davies. In year nine, Finn Eyre is the uh, winner for Franklin. The overall winner is Alice Horton from Soyinka. And in year 10, the uh, winner from Franklin is Elena Lynn. And the overall winner is Ben Hebron from Davies. The inter-school sporting calendar never fully got off the ground, but this didn't stop our athletes from excelling in a number of different situations and leading from the front. This year, the sports awards go to the following. In year seven, for Franklin, is Grace Neal. The overall winner for year seven is Jay Everly from Soyinka. In year eight, for Franklin, is Seth Day. And the overall winner is Harry Weller from Hobbs. In year nine, the winner is Yanis Zangalidis. And the overall winner is Polly Titherley from Hobbs. In year 10, the Franklin winner is Luigi Reyes. And the overall winner is Lavinia Marie Harlow from Davies. We now arrive at the final three awards. The Sal Award is awarded to a student in the house who has been an inspiration to those around them. They set a positive example in the way they interact with others, their application to their schoolwork, extra extracurricular commitments in sports, arts and clubs. This year, our winner has done all this and more. He is an exceptional young man in so many ways. The winner of the Sal Prize for 2021 is Ross de Vilt. Each year, the Madej Cup is awarded to a student who has shown determination and courage in the face of adversity. They persevere and strive to succeed when faced with a difficult situation. The winner this year is someone who always greets you with a smile and a cheerful welcome. They continuously show great dedication and exhibit a wonderful attitude. I'm pleased to announce that the recipient of the Mad Edge Cup is Alice Wallace from Soyinka. And the final award of the evening is the Dickinson Award, named after Anne Dickinson, who served the school faithfully for many years. This award goes to a year 10 student who has epitomized the school values and continued to represent and serve Netherhall in all areas in their four years. This year, I am pleased to announce the winner is Adam Fox, from Soyinka. Congratulations and well done. Once again, I would like to extend my congratulations to all of this evening's winners. Your efforts and the way you demonstrate your considerable talents are a constant inspiration. It really is a privilege being the head of Franklin. Thank you for joining us and I look forward to seeing you all at school. Yeah.